back to another vlog. Everyone remembers Hattie, right? <laughs> Don't say that every time now. <laughs> she gets worried that you forget about her. <laughs> She can't sleep at night because of it. Right, so we're actually out in central London. We're in a place called Incognito. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, and we're having like yummy sushi Japanese food. I'll show you in a second. And we're going to the theatre tonight because Hattie bought me and Juliet tickets for Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's what our plan is. A nice start to the week. But she's been in an agonising period at the end of the day. Yeah. If anyone wants to know in it. Ginger um, helps. <laughs> Yeah, apparently ginger helps period pain, so I've been eating some of this. It's pickled ginger. I like, like it. Mm, it, is. I like it. Stuff. We've got maki, sashimi that I'm not having, but patty you like, corn dumplings, chicken, karaage, and edamame. Is that everything we got? Yeah. Last night was so lovely with Hattie. It was just really nice to spend some time together and, and Juliet was amazing. It exceeded all of my expectations. It was just like funny, feel good, lighthearted. Like I was laughing, I cried a lot because there was a lot of like amazing modern like, elements that should be hopefully implemented into all future theatre. Yeah, it was just nice to see something other than like a straight couple in love. Not representative and it's been done far too much. Like give everyone else a chance you know so yeah i absolutely loved it i highly recommend it i think it's closing soon so be quick um, and now i'm just on my way to pancakes for pancake day yay I apologise, um, it's Wednesday evening. I have not vlogged properly over the past couple of days because my period pains have written me off. I've been in bed, I've been trying to work from bed. It's been all awful and then I had just some weird family dramas as always. So yeah, it's been a bit of a weird week. However, me and Aiden are changing it around. He just went to the shop um, and bought burrito ingredients. So we're making like yummy homemade burritos. I'm making homemade guac. And Aiden's gonna make some like salsa and stuff. We've got like chicken on the go. Aiden's put it on our little like, what is this called? Like a little skillet. Then this is going to be for the salsa that Aiden's making. I'm, I'm just on chopping duty and I'm just making the guac. This is our little wholesome evening in. What are we going to watch? I feel like we need to start a new series or something. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the moon and its darker side. I can feel the gravity. Um, I'm just sat doing some editing. You know how it is. I literally have just been sat either on my laptop or in bed editing because I've been not great this week. But Aiden has just made me a nice frothy coffee. And I'm, um, yeah, literally just looking at my schedule and trying to book in some podcast guests at the moment. And then editing some podcast episodes for upcoming weeks. Um, I'm going home to see my family this weekend, so I just want to get extra stuff done. And try and stay on top of it because I've got some things this evening which should be really fun um i also got this yesterday it arrived it's from tiktok shop and everyone it kept coming off my for you page and i was like maybe i need this light like it'll be so handy for me when i go out and about like in the evenings because a lot of like my work especially like foodie stuff and things but this is just amazing it's so compact as well like, like i can just chuck that in my bag because it's so small whereas all of my other portable lights are too big and it's so bright you won't be able to tell how good the difference is because it's already daylight let me see if i can show you in like a darker setting Right, here's a little bit better, but this camera's good and it does like pick up the light. It's amazing. I think it was literally like 18 pounds as well. So what a great purchase and you can like adjust the light, the lighting by just doing this. It's got a lot of battery in there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna last a lot longer than some of my other devices. So really happy that I found that and decided to invest. I just hope that it's the longevity is there as well. All my clothes hanging up trying i just get a bit skeptical with tiktok shop even though i do buy from it quite a lot um, so i will let you know if this ends up breaking soon or not but it also has like a little attachment if you want to attach if you want to put it on like a tripod um i just think i will probably hold it my throat is starting to close up a bit which is weird because i've been literally inside for the most of the week so i don't know how i'd possibly got a cold have you ever tried zit sticker or heard of zit sticker they're these little like patches that you put on your spots and it like dissolves them like i don't actually know what the technical how it technically works because it's really confusing because it's like this tiny little plastic patch um not plastic rubber patch and it has like little spiky texture on it it must have something in but i put them on my spot before i went to sleep and this is like completely dissolved like it was so painful and bumpy and it's just like pierced it 
for me since if way you know rather than me just like picking at it every time i've used them they've been absolutely amazing like really good if you'll wear, wear them for like a long time so i usually put mine on overnight but i know jack said he puts his on um like whilst he's traveling or something and i feel like that is just a great recommendation for the week i'm trying to think if there's anything else i've been trying that's good because i want to hook you up with the good products because i hate when people come on here and chat shit about things that aren't actually good and like really expensive but yeah for the moment i think those things are good i might film some of my makeup later and show you some good some new things in my makeup bag because i've migrated some products over that i'm currently trying out so after an insufferable couple of hours i have made it into the shower and got ready i did loads of editing this morning did my podcast stuff it's all great and then I literally got smacked with the worst period pains I've had in a good few months. I was like seething, is that the right word? Like literally rocking in pain. Like I couldn't get myself comfy, I couldn't relax. I literally was like groaning, like I was going into child labour. I was like, I'm gonna need to call an ambulance. <laughs> so yeah, that was super fun. But I knew whenever I get period pains, even if they're like the worst of the worst, like the max time in a sitting will be like two hours. So I was like, right, I'm just going to have to ride this out. This is horrific. I've taken all my tablets, hot water bottle, my little device. I need to go buy some BU monthly patches because I think that's one of the reasons why they got really bad because I didn't have them this month. So I need to get some of that. I've got this little thing that goes in my drinks. It's supposed to like alleviate the pain inside. Honestly, I did everything. And then after like an hour and a half, they went. So I was like, Whew. let's conquer the rest of the evening. Hopefully I've got my period pants on. I literally trust reusable period pants so much. Not that any, I don't know if anyone cares, but it's literally under here. I'm literally wearing a dress. I have no doubt that even on my heaviest of periods, I obviously have to get the ones that match your flow. I have no doubt that there's going to be any like trickling down my leg this evening, like at all. Like I just put, have put all my faith in them. Like I've tried and tested so many. So I just hand on my heart saying that they're really great and it stops me from using shitloads of disposable pads and polluting the environment. Obviously, I know that not everyone can do that and stuff, but if you just buy a pair of reusable pants, you can just wash them over and over and over again a little bit just something a little bit for the planet if you can i'm off i'm in this gorgeous quiz dress marks and Spencer's boots my very old asos satin bag and we're going to go off to a super drug event it's going to be like a super drug showcase i think i think there's going to be talks going on and um, different stands for different makeup that so super drug sell and they sell mina i haven't put my lipstick on as you can probably tell I'm going to do that as i get there but mina is one of my favorite makeup brands that is affordable that i found recently like so good my lip products that i use which you will see probably in the next clip when i've applied my lipstick there um, it's it, absolutely incredible i'm gonna go meet jack i'm gonna meet my manager tash we're gonna have a walk around there and then we've actually got a screening later on jack's invited me we're going to see cocaine bear which i've seen on youtube ads constantly and i feel like it's going to be just like a funny light-hearted film to watch and i'm very excited for that so yeah very nice evening ahead and I'm so happy that my pains have gone for it because I was, I've been looking forward to this all week. So we're at Super Drug now. There is so much bigger than I expected it to be. There's literally like so many brands here, it's crazy. Um, I don't know why my camera's doing that. We're gonna have a look at some of these products. There's loads of like interactive stands. So me and Jack are gonna get involved with all of them before we have to head off. Oh god, that super drug event was nuts. There were so many like amazing people in that room, like super talented. I was feeling quite overwhelmed and like I didn't belong in the room. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like my period as well was just making me feel like grim and like, I was super self-conscious. I feel like you see a lot of these like influencer events on people's stories and things. They no one really talks about the sort of like feeling, but I honestly get imposter syndrome. I feel like I shouldn't be there. I feel inadequate ugly <laughs> gross and i know i'm not any of those things that when i take myself out of the situation i'm like wow you're just being really silly and self-deprecating but when i'm like there i just was like super sensory overload like i absolutely love the super drug team and i met some like really lovely friends through there so i obviously wanted to go but yeah i was just like shook at how many people were there it was like such a big room an amazing venue um, and it was just nice to connect with a lot of like the brands as well around i almost got my nose pierced as well but we had to leave for cocaine bear which we also did see tonight and that was really funny it was so much more violent and gruesome than i thought and i really hate violence like I cannot watch the screen if someone's being even like just punched in the face it's like it just really makes my body like seize up and uncomfortable but it was really good even though loads of people get mauled to death by a bear and it's like one of my biggest irrational fears I think I think because me and Aiden talk about all the time and like we've searched and it's like if you are near a, like if you can't run outrun the bear because you're too close to it you you like crouch on the floor and 
hold your hands over all your vital organs because it starts to maul you. Oh god, it like really freaks me out. Don't know why I'm talking to you about this, but I had the kindest goodie bag of this. If you hate hauls or unboxings and stuff, skip ahead to tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this really generous big tote bag worth of goodies from Superdrug. So I'm gonna just sit and unbox them. I used to love doing these and I started cutting them out of my videos because I thought like hauls were annoying people, but I actually I've been really excited to do this one because I don't know what's in it um, and it just might be nice to show you some products. Oh my god, okay, so first of all, we've got some organic tampons from Flo. I haven't personally tried these because if you know me, I faint when I put tampons in. Long story, but I faint. I won this little glaze hair clip. We've got some lashes from Ilia, which will come in very handy when I have a break from my lash extensions, which will probably happen sooner rather than later. From e.l.f. Two of their Power Grip primers. One has niacinamidin and I'm not sure what the other is, maybe just the original, these little elf primers. We've got some high sensation righteous rubber ribbed and dotted condoms from EXO. Some Colgate Max Ultra White toothpaste. Some Tresemme Beautiful Strength Proplex Shampoo and Conditioner. These look phenomenal. Oh, some more lashes from Ilya. I've got the number, oh, they're both number... 113. Beautiful and fluffy, the sort of vibe I'd go for. We've also got a feather and down pillow spray. I actually use these guys for such a long time, like I used to write posts about these on my blog. Got some Shea Moisture, is it She? Shea? It's Shea, isn't it? Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Shampoo. Flexitol Re Revitalizing Foot Scrub. We've got a Sheer Glow Transparent Clear Conditioning Gloss from Glaze. I really love this hair brand. They do ones that also dye your hair too. Well, not dye them, like semi-permanent colour. Um, but this one's just the sheer one, just for beautiful, shiny, glossy hair. We've got Superdrug's own B um, skincare range, the mel their Melting Cleansing Balm. Oh, I've been wanting to try this. Some of the Superdrug own brands are amazing, like their new Studio London makeup range. If there's stuff in here, I'll show you. If not, loads of the stuff in my makeup bag at the minute is from Studio London. And the stuff is so good and it's so affordable and accessible. I was actually talking to Ellie, one of the Superdrug girls. Like, I will rave about that brand. Like, obviously, some of the stuff isn't as main amazing quality, but uh, most of the stuff that I've tried from there is incredible just as good as my really expensive high-end stuff and it's just so nice to be able to recommend stuff that is just affordable to everyone who wears makeup growing up i would never be able to afford high-end makeup i'd just ask for it as like a little christmas present or something like a mac lipstick and i never would expect any of my family to buy me any of that expensive stuff until i could like afford it myself Hada labo Hada labo tokyo is a, an amazing skincare brand this is their intense hydrating hydrating skin plumping gel give me that oh my god i actually want to open that and try that tonight we've got bedhead tg color goddess oil infused shampoo for colored hair that's an interesting one i'm kind of intrigued to try that you know on my hair and we've got saint moritz tanning mousse we've got batiste original leave-in dry conditioner get more vits mango and passion fruit drinks a carmex pineapple mint lip balm little cetaphil oil skin cleanser Ooh, lip juice, super shine lip gloss from Misguided. We've got some real techniques. Oh, neon, one of their Miracle Complexion sponges. Again, something I always ask for Christmas are these sponges. I love them. I'm very happy about those. We've got a vitamin E moisturizing sheet mask. Like, this is just absolutely crazy in here. What else have we got? Uh, the Garnier Moisture Bomb Sheet Mask, Vitamin E Skincare Lip Balm, Purified Oil Control Mattifying Moisturizer. All these things, Starface, the Hydro Styles that you put on your spots help to reduce the appearance of inflammation to shrink spots overnight eucerin hyaluron filler intensive face mask cetra ben for dry and itchy skin extra eczema prone skin facial cleanser bulldog original moisturizer aiden actually uses this so he'll be happy with that i was wondering if there's gonna be something in here for aiden oh we've got some durex pleasure me condoms fantasy britney spears sample a mini bioderma Micellar water, Intuition Derma Glow, Derma Planing Set, CeraVe Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser, incredible. Wilkinson Sword Hydro 5 Skin Protection Razors. Oh my god, I can't believe this is still going, I'm so sorry. Um, Nivea Derma Skin Clear Chemical Exfoliator. I'm going to see if that will work on my sensitive skin or if it's going to be too much. Hawaiian Tropic Sunset Escape Fragrance Mist. Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Lip Balm. Some Fanta Mentos, uh, Marc Jacobs Perfect Sample, Rouge Velvet Ink from Bourgeois, like a lip gloss, I think that is, or a lipstick. Pick and Mix Good Vibes Lipstick from 
Mina. <gasps> I love Mina. Um, also got a little matte lipstick from Mina, a little sample size, Cetaphil moisturising cream, little sample, a Revolution, mini eyeshadow palette, an Essie nail polish. This looks like that ballet slippers, is it? No. I don't know what shade this is from Essie, but it is a gorgeous. It reminds me of ballet slippers, like a really pale pink. Superdrug Hyaluronic Booster, brow pencil, and a Chupa Chups lollipop. Oh, and a blushed MUA liquid cream blush. Oh my god, what a crazy, crazy goodie bag. I'm very, very grateful. And obviously this will be shared with family and friends. It won't all just be for me. Don't worry, none of this will go to waste. Just feel really grateful this evening. And I'm trying to give myself a bit of a break after feeling... I'm starting to like overthink and be all crazy now. Thinking like I just came across weird and odd because I wasn't feeling my normal self. Which kind of puts into perspective sometimes. You know when you meet someone like or whatever and you think, oh, they didn't seem like the usual self like maybe they were going through something behind closed doors that you didn't know about you know anyway i'm just gonna stop chatting shit and i will see you tomorrow love ya good morning so i am on my way to just post some parcels just do a couple of random errands we're going to like the impost locker i still find this fascinating i don't know what's wrong with me i'm literally just so easily pleased or something but like i love coming out to the impost locker and like scanning the codes and I just think it's very clever and great because I don't have a printer. Oh, still don't have a printer. We don't really have room for one. Like I could just get one at some point, but I might as well just wait until we get a house and have more space because they do take up a lot of room. And especially when you can just get them printed. Yeah, I'm doing that first and then I'm heading to the shop to go grab some ingredients for tacos. Me and Aiden are gonna make some tacos for lunch. And then this weekend we're heading back to see our families. We're going to my family tonight and tomorrow and then Aiden's family for the rest of the weekend so yeah we're gonna have like a big lunch and then later my dad's gonna cook us some dinner so I'm just gonna go grab some ingredients for that we haven't done a food shop this week because we knew we weren't gonna be here all week and there was no point so we've just been doing like mini things time to impost I hope there's some room in the lockers because recently they've been just rammed I don't know what's going on everyone's posting I'll make a brand new start of it in old New York we literally have coffee at home, but it's Friday, so I thought I would treat us and got us some lattes from a little cute shop that's near us. I'm just gonna head back now, collect my post on the way up, and I've got a meeting for something very exciting. So do with my journal, um, and potentially bringing out more future products this year, um, which would be incredible, because that's something that's on my vision board. Um, so yeah, hopefully this meeting goes all well, and we will see, I'll keep you updated. Hello lovely people, it is Saturday. Went out for a gorgeous Weatherspoons breakfast this morning. Nan treated us. Mm. But yeah, we're just at my Nan's now. Aiden's just sat in there watching the F1. But I came on here because I, me and Aiden decided at the spare of the moment to go in this charity shop. I was like, oh, I feel like there's some like, good stuff in there. And Aiden bought his mum some puzzles because she loves a good old puzzle. We're going to spend the rest of the day with Aiden's mum later on. But I found this like gorgeous bag and it was like on one of the shelving bits, you know, like in charity shops, there's obviously like racks and rails of shit. And then sometimes they like showcase like good pieces. There was this bag on the like showcased bit and I was like, oh my God, that looks expensive. I found out now that it's actually real leather, which has shook me to the core even more. So I know this is going to be an acquired taste, but I really, really love this. It's like this gorgeous brown bag. I feel like I'm going to wear it to death. It's like very, very cool, like in my opinion, like I think this is so sick. Brown leather buckles. It has this strap that it has like a little metal clasp like through. Same with these little buckle bits. Absolutely stunning. Let's check that again. Lovely sound. Can everyone guess how much this beautiful bag is? It looks so stunning with the trench coat I was wearing this morning as well. Obviously not with this sweater. Ready? Guess in the comments before I say. Pause the video. Dun, 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 dun. Two pounds. Two pounds. I was like, oh, it's gonna be ten. I'm not gonna, not gonna get it. Like, I don't need another bag. But as soon as they said two pounds, I was like, I'm gonna have to get it. I do think I'm gonna wear it to death though. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. Like, I'm actually really conscious with what I get because I know sometimes with my job, like, I get clothes in and stuff, and I, I just want to try and be a bit more environmentally friendly. Obviously, sometimes I can't help it if I'm like. If I have a job in where I have to promote clothes or I'm doing certain things, I'm trying to, yeah, just be a little bit more conscious because I know sometimes it can get a bit much, but I just thought this bag is beautiful. 
I'm buying second hand and two pounds like that is just such a bargain and I just feel like the wear is just it's just gonna last forever because it's leather like I didn't even know that yeah so that's my gorgeous purchase of the day I feel like it matches my hair as well like even the like ready tinge in it that I've got at the minute but yeah very very pleased having a lovely time I'm a very happy girl